This is the free motion quilting video for Feather Snail. This video is a part of the free motion quilting project created by Leah Day. Check out the other designs and share them with your friends at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to Feather Snail. This design is stitched by first starting in the middle of your quilting space and you just start with a circle. And then what you're going to do is simply stitch around that circle, branch off with a line, and estimate and stitch another circle right at the end to create a butterfly feather. This is a very simple combination of butterfly feathers simply stitched in a circular way. So as I'm stitching this out, I am branching out and estimating my space so that I'm creating a spiral with those circles at the same time. And you might be able to see I've actually marked the spiral line on my quilting space. It's very hard to estimate this kind of thing just eyeballing it. So instead of uh, troubling with that, I instead marked the very faint line so that way I have kind of an, uh, something to estimate to. I have something to kind of eyeball and try and bring my line up to hit that circle and match it up so that way the circles in the feathers actually line up perfectly with that circular shape. That way it all matches up nicely and it fills the space consistently. Feathers are one of those things that everybody stitches differently. And if you're interested in learning more feathers, please check out the other designs called Butterfly Feathers and Feather Feller. These will be good practice if you're interested in stitching more designs similar to this. You can see that I'm travel stitching quite a bit in this design. The way I like to produce feathers and stitch them is to stitch up, swirl into my circle, and then travel stitch all the way back down. Of course, I could quilt this entirely differently. I could be stitching up, swirl into the circle, and then swirl into another circle right next to it and stitch down to create another feather. That's a simpler version and it doesn't involve as much travel stitching, so that's something you might want to try out. You can see that having that marked line really helps and it is kind of a cheat. Technically I'm not supposed to mark any lines for filler designs, but if you're wanting to make this perfect spiral shape and you're wanting the feathers to build upon one another, really marking the line is essential. That way you know where the circles are going to go, how big the feathers should be, and it ends up looking like a spiral rather than some kind of strange amoeba-like creature. Um, trust me, I tried this design several times and it didn't work out without the marked line. So let's fast forward and see what this looks like towards the very end of the design. You can see I'm kind of swirling out even on top of the previous feathers just so it completely fills the quilting space. And what I'm doing here is I'm just simply stitching out, filling that space, estimating it, swirling into the circle, and travel stitching back. It is time consuming and it is a little finicky, but if you take your time I'm sure you can get this. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Feather Snail. Are you interested in learning more about free motion quilting? Make sure to check out the Free Motion Quilting Project and find over 300 video tutorials just like this one. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.